Hello all Dentsafarians, today let's take a look at some of the brand new Australian animals that we have just purchased. The first one right here, it's a very interesting animal that I have never seen before. It is an Eastern Bat Bandicoot. Let's take a look at some facts about this interesting animal, shall we? Okay, so it basically says, Females generally give birth to two to three young who remain in their mother's backwards facing pouch for less than 60 days. Wow, there is a backwards facing pouch. Where's the pouch? I'm not too sure. But really interesting, an Eastern Bad Bandicoot. How many of you guys have actually seen a Bandicoot before? Not me, not in my country. Yes, I have never seen a Bandicoot before. So this is a really interesting fact. All right, next up, let's take a look at this. What do we have here? Is this like a kangaroo or a wallaby? Are you guys able to tell me what is the difference between a wallaby and a kangaroo? Let me know down in the comment section below, okay? So let's take a look at this. Yellow-footed rock wallaby. Let's take a look. You can actually see the joey right here, which is the baby. All right, and it says, okay, um yeah rock wallaby nice do we have any facts about this wonderful creature let's take a look this endangered species inhabits rocky outcrops in semi-arid areas of australia its range is now limited to south australia western new south wales and western queensland wow really really interesting fact right over here so I'm not too sure, is this endangered? I don't think so, right? But if you guys know, let me know down below, okay? So we have a bandicoot so far and a wallaby, all right? Let's move on. I don't think this is an Australian animal, but we have just purchased this to add to our big, cat, um, big cats collection. So let's open this up. I think we have a black jaguar. This is not an Australian um, animal, okay? So but let's take a look at this. This is from Safari LTD. It is a black panther. Yes, let's open this up. You have to rip this open. Okay, so black panthers are leopards. If you look closely, their spots are still visible. Yes, you can actually see the faint spots, you know, right underneath um, the black coat of fur. So they're basically leopards, okay? Yep, that's right. All right, let's move on and take a look at more Australian animals, okay? What do we have right here? We have a fruit lizard. A fruit lizard, okay? Aus animals from Australia. So let's take a look at this. Um, what does it say? Um, the fruit lizard, also known as the fruit neck lizard, spends most of its time in trees, descending to the forest for um, forest floor for additional food supply and to control its body temperature by basking in the sun. Wow, that's really nice. You can see it has this really huge frill. I've never seen one of this before as well. But what I've seen is something which is, you know, related to this, which is also reptile. I've actually seen plenty of iguanas in my country. So we have a fruit lizard once again. Really beautiful one. Next up, what do we have over here? This is a spider. I'm not too sure whether this is native to Australia. Probably not, but this is our first black widow spider. So is this, I mean, can you find this in Australia? I guess so, right? I'm not too sure. I can even find this in my country, which is Singapore. So probably, I'm not too sure. So you can see, it's a pretty creepy looking spider. How many of you guys are actually afraid of spiders? Um, I mean, I I'm not terrified of spiders, but I mean, if I see a huge black widow, I think I will be scared. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Incredible creatures, black widow spider. Let's pop this open and take a look at some facts about, you know, this really interesting um, animal, okay? Spider, I mean. This astonishing spider's paralyzed prey trapped in the webs with powerful venom. Wow, pretty cool. So you can see there is like is this red spot like you know part of the body i'm not too sure so if you guys know please let me know wow really really beautiful addition to our collection a black widow spider our very first one let's move on what else do we have 
another Australian animals. Animals of Australia, what is this? Brown snake. I'm pretty sure that you can find lots of different types of um, snakes in Australia and this is definitely one of them. It doesn't look brown to me. It looks like, you know, really shiny. It looks like silverish to me. It's really beautiful. It doesn't come with a fat cut for this. So, I mean, if you guys have any facts, comment down below, okay? Next up, is this another bandicoot? It looks like a bandicoot. It's a bilby. Wow, let's take a look at this. Really adorable animal. Okay, let's zoom in and take a look. So it's basically related to bandicoots. The bilby was once widely distributed across Australia. However, habitat loss and predation by foxes and feral cats has reduced its distribution. Wow. It's a pretty small, the weight is about 1 to 2 kilograms, which is really light. Yeah, so it's closely related to um, bandicoots and they feed on seeds and insects including beetles, spiders and termites. Yeah, so I guess they, they can do like, you know, pretty good pest control, I guess. Next up, let's move on. We have another slick snake right here, I'm not too sure whether this is from Australia, I don't think so. So let's open this up and have a look. Wow, another creepy crawly. So what is this? It looks like a, um, I'm not too sure. Let's take a look at, at, at the name of this. Okay, it is a coral snake baby. Okay, let's take a look at some facts. This classic snake features thick red, yellow, and black wings. Okay, so you can see it has like yellow rings, black rings, red rings. So really beautiful snake, I must say. It is so colorful. I'm trying to find the name. Okay, it's actually written right here. Horror Snake Baby. Nice, really nice. Let's move on. Another animal of Australia. So what is this? A Tasmanian Devil, I think. Tasmanian Devil. Let's take a look at some facts about this beautiful and wonderful animal. Tasmanian devils are currently the largest living carnivorous marsupials in the world. Devils once lived on the mainland of Australia but have now been confined to Tasmania since pre-European settlement. The future survival of Tasmanian devils is now seriously threatened by the devil facial tumor disease. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, you know, we can still have lots of Tasmanian devils for many generations to come, okay? So the weight is about 5 to 12 kilograms and up to 65 centimeters long. All right, what about this one right here? Is this another animal of Australia? Let's take a look. Yes, I think it is. Lot Howe Island Stick Insect. Wow, cool. I was once thought extinct. In 2001, I was rediscovered near Lot Howe Island. In 2003, a rescue team brought two breeding pairs back to Melbourne Zoo, Melbourne Zoo to begin breeding program to save our species. Wow, hopefully, you know, we have managed to save this species from extinction. Otherwise, you know, we will lose this species forever. All right, let's move on. We have another one right here. What is this? I have never seen this before. It looks like a porcupine. I don't, don't think it is. It is an Ichidna. Let's take a look at the facts about this wonderful and adorable animal. The Ichidna, also known as a spiny anteater, is part of a unique group of mammals. It's, a, um, it's part of a unique group of animals known as the Moni Tree Meta. They lay eggs and suckle their young with milk just like the other members of this group of platypus. Interesting, really interesting. This is also known as the spiny ant eater. So I guess it feeds on ants. Very nice, I really love this a lot. Our last figure of the day, it's a saltwater crocodile. I mean, this, this breed, this species of crocodiles can also be found in many other countries as well. So saltwater crocodile. I think it has one of the largest bite force in the world, if not the largest. Salties are the world's largest crocodiles. They are ferocious predators attacking with great speed. 
they take your prey to the deep water to drown it in its death row. In the death row. Crocodiles breed in wet season laying about 50 eggs in a nest mound. That's pretty cool. So this is like the largest species of crocodiles around. Alright. Thanks for watching this video. So these are basically the new figures that we have just purchased. Animals of Australia. Thanks for watching this. Let me know in the comment section below what other countries you guys want me to make. Is it like animals of China? Animals of India? Let me know down below, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.